Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Can you hold this for a second? I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, then I'll go get some water. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, that's okay! <laughs> you stay here. It won't take long. Deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has become a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or, or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So, I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Hey. Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you won't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. 
And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me? Will you be mine forever and ever and always and always be mine? I wonder.